Hey everyone, it's me RK from the RK RG channel and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new HP 14 laptop. In this video, we're also going to be taking a look at these stats. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. As you can see, first we're going to go out with the design quality of this thing. First of all, it has this clean gray matte finish. Also with a slick plastic, a little bit of aluminum in there. And of course, it's sturdy. Unfortunately, this is not a one-hand open computer. It is a two-hand open computer. But either way, it has very less screen wobbling and also very less keyboard flexing. So I rate this computer's design quality a solid 9 out of 10. Now let's get on and check on with the ports. I forgot to mention, but this is actually the base model of this laptop that has the 11th gen Intel Core i3 along with 8GB of DDR4 RAM and a 256 SSD. Now, let's get into the ports. We have a lot of ports on the right hand side, but we have less ports on the left hand side. I'm really glad that HP did not remove some of the ports like the HDMI, the USB-A, and the micro SD ports. Now, let's go ahead and check the speakers. What do you guys think on that? That was actually pretty impressive in my opinion. For such a small laptop, that was incredible. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out the microphone and webcam quality. Hey guys, this is a microphone and webcam quality on this HP 14 laptop. I hope it's pretty good. I don't know until I edit this video. Anyways, let's carry on with the video. This laptop has a 4K OLED display. It's one of the best displays I have ever seen on a laptop and it's absolutely brilliant. I love it. Except there's one downside is that there's a lot of reflection on this screen which I don't like. Fingerprints also come on it frequently. Occur fingerprints do come on to the laptop so that's a downside but other than that this is one of the best displays i've ever seen this keyboard and trackpad is also really good this trackpad has a diving board feature which means that we can click on these but it becomes harder over here to click not only that this keyboard is really good for typing and also it does have the backlit feature which you guys cannot see properly because of the light but it has great travel. This keyboard is amazing. Overall, I give the keyboard and trackpad a solid 9.5 out of 10. All right, well, this laptop does have an Intel 11th gen Intel Core i3, which is an okay processor. Well, compared to the AMD Ryzen 3, it is much more faster. But compared to the M1 silicon uh, chip offered by Apple, it's nothing compared to that. Yeah, it does give brilliant performance. 8 GB RAM is more than enough for a 256 SSD. Well, yeah, it's actually pretty good. Now let's get on to some thermals ways. Yes, this unfortunately does have a fan. I mean, well, the laptop does not have a fan other than the M1 MacBooks. Anyways, yes, this does have a fan and this fan can clock up to around 34 degrees Celsius which is pretty hot and that only happens when we're doing some kind of gaming or we're doing heavy tasks on this laptop. Other than that, it's pretty chill and currently right now it's probably about like 5 degrees Celsius. <laughs> now the battery life on this thing is incredible. Yes, this gives us a solid 8 hours and 12 minutes of battery life which is incredible and just charges in 2 hours. 
it's I don't know what to say. <laughs> Honestly, for gaming, I'm pretty surprised for the performance that it, the 11th gen Intel brings us. It's kind of incredible, but for certain games like AAA standard games like Call of Duty, Apex Legends, Fortnite, I don't think this is work out for this kind of graphics card. But for the integrated graphics, I definitely for sure know that the games that come on Microsoft Store can work perfectly fine. They're excellent. The graphics, brilliant. Everything is so good, but it does drain your battery a lot. This laptop does in India cost around 46,000 rupees, which is also around $621, which is pretty okay. It's not really expensive. It's not really the cheap. It's moderate. So, but the real question is, should you buy this? Well, I've been thinking if you're going for a more higher budget, a higher budget instead of a lower or a very expensive one, yes, this is a brilliant choice to take. I've been using this laptop for almost a week now and it's really good and it's really surprising what a small machine can do. And that's it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did like it, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel that helps support us. And so I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.